Hello, this is Royce. Today we're going to talk about databases and how to find them, how to use search boxes, how to limit our searches, and how to filter our search results. We go to the Maybe Library webpage by typing in www.washburn.edu forward slash maybe. And then there's two different ways that we can jump into a database from the home page. We can click on this Find It button and then on the Articles and Databases and we get these two buttons right here and this is, these are the access points to the two main databases that we have here at Washburn what these two databases do is actually search other databases so these are great when you know that you need to find some information rather quickly now if you already know the name of a database that you're looking for you can click on a letter for instance psych info and then I can go straight to psych info from right there and then I can also go to things by typing in and finding a specific discipline and going to that. So again, there's Psych Info. Now I encourage everyone to go to the Find It button and then click on Articles and Databases. Now let's take a real quick second and look at these two uh, databases side by side. Here's Academic One file. And it just takes a second to load and we see we have search boxes and we have ways to limit our search well, let's go back and look at academic search complete notice that again we have these search boxes and then we also have ways to limit our search really the difference is uh, some verbiage and the way it's colored so let's go ahead and look at academic one file and we'll use the examples that we learned from this one and we'll carry those over to when we use Academic Search Complete. So let's do a search for community health. And let's also type in vaccinations. Now before we even get started, we can start to limit our search a little bit. We can do it, do it with documents with full text. Comes in handy if you're in a time crunch. I always click on this button unless I know that I have a, a longer period of time to do my research. I always click on to peer-reviewed publications. I definitely want to read articles that have been reviewed by experts in the field and that's what peer-reviewed means. And then usually when I'm searching I also want to look for a date range. And for this instance when it comes to health I would usually want to get stuff that's within the last three years. So I'll put in there 2010 to 2013. And then I can limit it to document type and I can also put in a publication title if I want to search a specific publication or a publication subject. For instance, right in here I can type in health or nursing or what have you. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that one blank and we're going to click on search. Now we get 107 articles. That seems like a lot and indeed it is. One of the ways that we can start to filter our results after we've done our search is by looking over to the left side of the page over here and we can see that it's broken down our results into the subject for the results, the document types, and the publication titles. So if we click on vaccination, we will get the 44 articles that relate to vaccination. If we click on, when we go back, and we click on articles then we get the out of those 107 results we get the 23 that are just articles so that comes in handy and if we go back once more we can also see that it's limited to, by publication titles so these are just some of the ways that you can filter the results once you've come up with a lot of them one of the interesting things is that you can also click on this view more button and it'll give you all the document types and it'll give you all the related subjects. So those are just some handy tips into using the databases. I encourage you to search the databases using some keywords and terms that you are knowledgeable about and going in and, and really seeing how things work. As we stated before, the databases kind of all work very similarly. And once you get a feel for how they work, and once you get a feel for the subject that you're doing research in, start using these type of tools that we found here at the beginning of our lesson today. 
and that is these right here. So once we know that we're talking about something in health, let's go to databases that are specifically for health. Once we start knowing that we're looking for a database by a specific name like PsycInfo, let's make sure that we go to a specific database like PsycInfo. So those are the three things that we've learned today. We've learned how to use the search boxes. We've learned how to use the limits before we start searching. And we've learned how to filter our results once we've done our search. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And then please make sure that you watch the screencast for how to use the library catalog. Thank you and bye-bye.